18 kg test, 261. Hey guys, welcome back to another Mod Bros video. In this video, we're gonna be going over my 3D printed retaliator internals kit. Uh, I currently have it in the CDA just because while working through the revisions of all the 3D print, having the takedown functionality was a, a godsend. <laughs> uh, initially, I had it in a recon, I was testing it out, and I was fiddling around with it, and I kept having to like take out all the screws and open it up again. And I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I have a CETA, and I needed to test if the internals work in a CETA. Let me just put those in there. And so these internals are entirely 3D printed as a near dropping kit to be basically an entire internal overhaul. You have a new catch, a new plunger tube. The plunger tube is not 3D printed, uh, but the new plunger rod and a new breech slash bolt sled setup. It's all one piece. So it's a lot stronger than having a bolt sled and whatnot, but that I'll get into that later. Uh, but basically this will fit into any sort of recon, retaliator, prophecy, CETA. I don't actually have a prophecy, but I'm just making the assumption. Uh, but basically I don't have a prophecy, so I cannot say with 100% confidence that it'll fit inside. I don't know if there's some weird thing in a prophecy that make it so that these parts won't work. But I'm just assuming since all retaliator parts fit in it, mine work in all retaliators, recons, it'll work just fine. Uh, as you guys saw in the beginning, getting about 220 FPS with a 14 kg spring right now. I'm pretty proud of that uh, with my, I'm currently, this has set up with an O-ring seal. And even in this blaster, it doesn't have a very good seal because if I increase the O-ring seal, then it increases friction. And so this is sort of the happy medium between having a perfect air seal and having a lot of friction and having less friction, but not a perfect air seal. So I'm getting, usually averages around 220 with half length darts and whatnot. I'll currently full length darts as well because in this kit I have it made so that I have a couple versions for those people who are interested in it. I'm currently working on one that will be a pusher breach for those that want that. Uh, I cannot say as of yet if it is if the pusher breach will work with both full length and half lengths but it should. I want it to be able to so I'm still working on that but currently this is just running a brass breach and that's going to be the standard model just because I feel brass breaches are better, more efficient and you don't have issues with trying to push a really tight dart into a really tight barrel for springers. So this is running a brass breech with 9 16 and then the 17 30 seconds about this long. I cannot say exactly because I made this barrel a long time ago. I feel like it's around 14 inches 17 30 seconds and then about uh, 18 inches total which I think is a little bit too long. If I've been doing calculations I have about 82 cc's of air that is usable in this plunder tube and that should give me a little bit slightly of a shorter barrel. I mean, I'm probably gonna go in and cut the barrel down a little bit. Maybe I'll see an increase in performance, but usually in both this and the recon that I've been testing with, I get an average around 220. Uh, currently, I will say though, I've been working on a skirt seal plunger head, which I think the skirt seal plunger head is better because it's less likely to vacuum load, which is an issue that I don't really like, especially with brass breaches and whatnot, but it also has a really good air seal with less friction than an o-ring so i like that and with that i was getting about 240 to 250 so with a peak at 300. yeah i got a peak at like 270 to <laughs> and whatnot with just this spring so i will say that running a 25 newton spring with my kit will get you better performance than you will with a worker kit and not only will you be able to fire a full half length but you'll also be able to fire full length because this kit has less dead space and just more plunger volume than a worker kit. So running the same spring with a properly set up barrel and whatnot, you should expect better performance. Uh, but yeah, like I said, fires both full and half length. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that real quick. These are some full length FVJs. Uh, 175 out of that full length. That one broke and didn't read. Oop. And 191 so getting about 200 fps out of full length darts and now i'll fire off some half lengths to show you i think the barrel is a little bit better for half lengths just because it's too long currently 196 and 199 Do one more <laughs> it's counting out tool tool I so called it. <laughs> called it. 
Uh, but yeah, so that's currently with too long of a barrel. And also, I will say, I don't exactly know what's wrong with this Cita, but I'll test the air seal for you guys. Yeah, the air seal is probably around 88%, to be honest. So I need to work on that. But with, in the recon, I don't know why, but in the recon, I was having a really good air seal. And I was getting like 220s to 230s. Whereas I put them in this, and I, apparently my seal went away somewhere. Haven't really fiddled with it that much for them trying to get primarily the kit parts working uh, and whatnot. And like, even if I get performance similar to a worker kit, my plan is to sell this for less than what a worker kit costs and whatnot, and it will take better springs. But basically, I'll show you guys how the internals work. Uh, another benefit of the CETA, I can take it apart and show you guys how it works. So this is running a 62 Hillman with ground ends. That's how they'll come. If you buy the kit, I'll ground the ends flat for you just because I think it works a little bit better. Square them off. Yeah, square them off, make them, make them real nice. Like, uh, But basically, we'll be selling the kit in a variety of flavors <laughs> and sizes. So my plan is to sell primarily just the 3D printed parts if that's what you want. And that'll be the cheapest option. So basically, you'll just get all the 3D printed stuff. You'll need to get all the hardware yourself and then build it yourself and then also we'll have another one where it's just the fully assembled internal you just need to do the shell work to get them to fit and that will include the breech the spring the catch the plunder tube all that jazz and then finally we'll also be doing commissions uh, yeah so so from my research uh i'm trying to get this all priced out it should be cheaper to get this kit than getting a worker kit and you'll also be able to fire full length and half length at greater fps yeah so the worker metal kit is sitting at around eighty dollars um i think that's using the cheaper estimates that they give you mm -hmm. plus you have to buy shipping and you have to wait a while to ship from china whereas mm -hmm. ours would be cheaper overall higher performance more customization really get what you want what color mm -hmm. you want if that's something you care about and based in the u.s so shipping would take less time yeah if you're in the u.s if you're in australia sure. or um singapore, singapore you, it might be a little longer UK. for you but uh, we're going to be going through Etsy until we can figure out how to make a site. And that'll be having everything we have, of, we're working on right now. The kits, the slide, other parts that you want or need, like grease or springs or anything really. Yeah, just for the time being, if you are interested in purchasing one of these kits, you can PM us and then we'll talk to you about prices and whatnot. And we're entirely open to building full blasters if that's what you need or if you just want the kits themselves. Uh, but once once we start, once we figure out how to get the Etsy working, then we'll be on there. Yeah, so <laughs> just feel we'll, free to slide into our DMs. Yeah, we'll post we'll post an update once we once we get the Etsy working and everything. Uh, but yeah, so in in the main kit, you in the just the 3D printing kits, you get the new catch, which is designed to work with a stock trigger to have no slack in it whatsoever and also be a very smooth trigger pull that's very light uh in my recon that i was using to test with this with the with the 14 kg spring and my 3d printed catch i was using the stock recon catch spring and i had no issues whatsoever like it was working perfectly fine uh for the few hundred shots i was putting through it and i had no catch issues whatsoever it worked perfectly so honestly don't even need to catch upgrade spring so it'll work with a normal catch spring so you don't even need one of those and then it should make a trigger pull really simple and then the plunder rod is just based off of the standard retaliator plunder rod and whatnot fully 3d printed with a metal rod down the center uh the catch surface on this is larger than a retaliator's, so it's more reliable especially since on my 3d printed catch oh, you guys can't really see it because of the light but it has a round catch surface so you have more surface area to hold back the plunger rod so it'll be a more reliable catch even though it's not a metal version and whatnot and then the plunger rod is slightly thinner so that you're able to use the 62 hellman but since i also made this larger you're also able to use larger springs uh, i have yet to test this but it should be able to work with a k26 but a 62 hellman is stronger than a k26 so i wouldn't even recommend it uh, i've just recently added padding when i was doing all the testing on these kits i left the plunger head unpadded just because i wanted to see how strong it was and i put like 
50 dry fires through one day and it held up just fine. Uh, even at relatively not like a high infill, it still held up perfectly fine. Uh, and then this is with the O-ring seal and there's an O-ring seal in here, which this should have a 100% air seal. This is alright if you have a bunch of friction because it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's only for the breach, but then this I'm currently working on the skirt plunger head, which should work better, get better performance, and then also just be more reliable and not vacuum load. Uh, so yeah, as I said, we would be selling the three print parts by themselves. Uh, the fully assembled kit that you just need to do the shell work to get a fit, which will come with a spring, the spring, the spring guide, catch, plunger rod, fully assembled with the bolt and everything you put together. Uh, the plunger tube, which will be cut down to the right length, whether you're going to be using it in a retaliator or any of the other blasters that we plan on making this for. And then the bolt sled with the brass installed. Uh, but yeah. Uh, like I said, right now we're still figuring out like pricing and whatnot, so that'll be better if you guys are interested to just DM us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Doesn't really matter, we're open to talking and whatnot. And find us on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> sure, find us on Reddit, yeah. <laughs> we do post on Reddit occasionally. Those are on like our personal accounts, so they're a little harder to find. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so as I said, this will work with any of the retaliator based platforms and should give you better performance. Uh, I've only seen... Uh, we have plans to maybe get a BT-27 spring just to test how good the performance will get with this kit because I've seen I've seen those get usually consistently around like 250 to 260 with a worker kit so I feel honestly I could get to 300. I was looking at the BT-27 spring right now. But yeah, uh, I don't really know what else to say. Just if you're interested in purchasing the kit, we are starting to sell right now. Averaging over 200 FPS with proper setups and even with improper setups, it's still averaging around 200 FPS. Yeah, it might take us a little bit of time to actually get them out to you right now because we only have one 3D printer. Only, yeah, so if this will definitely be made, they'll be made to order sort of things where... For right now, until we gauge how much people want them, then we'll probably have some on standby. Mm -hmm. We'll probably just print something like a basic color of like black or red or white or whatever just as like a basic order that people can purchase and then if you want specialty colors it may take some time um but yeah i hope you guys like this video this is gonna be there'll probably be a few more updates on this sort of project once i get the barrel fitted well the seals worked on the skirt plunger head all in all I'm really excited with this kit i hope that a lot of people are interested and willing to take a look at what I have to offer. But yeah, uh, if you guys like this video, leave us a like and a comment. If you guys think our internals are really cool, let us know in the comment section below. It would be great for my ego. Check out Etsy. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, I'm willing to talk. And yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.